In this video, I'll be showing how to download and install Notepad++ and how to use it to edit HTML files. So your first thing you're going to do is Google Notepad++ and you should be able to find their official website, which is notepad++.org. And this is only a Windows app. So um, if you have a Mac, there's an option like brackets that you could download and use. And I'll include a link to, in the description of how to install um, that particular app if you're using a Mac. So if you're on Notepad++'s website, you go to the download option and you can click on the first one, which is usually the most recent one. And then just choose the download option. And then you're just going to wait for it to download. It's not very big. And then you're going to open the file and it will ask you if you show you want to install it or run it and you're going to click yes and then you're going to choose your language which is probably english if you're watching this video and then we'll take you step by step through the installation wizard so you're going to click on next and as always you've got the license agreement um, which tells you what you can do with the software you're going to agree otherwise you can't install you can choose the default location or search for your own and then you can choose any components that you want to change. Probably you just want the default options here. You click on next. You can choose if you want a desktop shortcut or not. And then you choose install. Doesn't take very long. And then you can finish. Yeah, and Notepad++ looks like this. When it first opens up, it will show you the most recent changes, which you can close. When you have a new document, it just looks like um, this. And then it's usually defaults to a normal text file, but if you wanted to save it as, for instance, HTML, then you would just simply say file save as and ensure that you change the normal text file type to, in our case, we're going to do HTML and suggest you save it in a location that you can actually um, access easily. Uh, so I'll do mine here. Okay, and then I'll show you how to open it in your browser as well. If you have an existing file you want to open, if you double click on it, it will open in your browser usually, as you can see from the browser icon there. So you can right click on it and say edit with Notepad++ and then you'll get the file there. Um, to prevent it going off the edge of the page like it's doing here, you can go to view and turn on word wrap. And you can also go to view and change your zoom level um, so that it's a bit more readable for you. If you want to preview your file in a web browser, then you can just go back to where it's saved and double click on it. And then you'll be able to see what the web page looks like. And you can uh, display your windows side by side so that you can see your code and your web page at the same time. And if you want to make any changes to it, so... Um, if I, for instance, change this heading type to a smaller heading, the nice thing is that it does highlight tags and matching tag pairs and so on and so forth. Um, you'll notice now once I've made a change, the save icon becomes red. So now I'm going to save and now I can refresh the page and now it's changed the size of that heading there. So that's how you can work on your um, code and your browser preview at the same time. 